folks, thanks for staying with us here at Pulaski TV today. Now, speaking about local PS folks, we were also talking about, you know, you, you see these guys that are clearing these branches and stuff off the power lines and stuff. That's that You call that a, a vegetation? To explain that. I mean, again, folks, I'm learning just like you are, right. um, th that you're on a two-year <clears throat> rotation. You guys are constantly having to stay ahead of this so that there is not a problem, but, you know, f trying to get there before a problem occurs. That's right. We're, we have a vegetation management program. We have a new policy that went in last year, last February. Uh, at that time, we went to an ANSI trimming standard, which is uh, preferred by the International Society of Bull Culture. We trimmed those standards, tried to get to all the lines. We have 1,300 miles of power line in the system, 26,000 structures wow. or poles that support those lines. Yeah. Um, and we're trimming those trees once every two years on that rotation, gotcha. making sure that it, we meet good clearance standards on power lines for both the safety of the power lines and the safety of the public. I got you. You say that this power company started in the late 1800s, is that correct? It did. It was built in uh, 1891, or started in 1891. It's just the city of Pulaski. It was the first municipal si uh, system in the state of Tennessee. Amazingly enough, it was built the same year as the Ryman Auditorium, so wow. it gives you some idea gotcha. of, of yeah. when it began. And then we started uh, generating our own power at that time with diesel generation, where our, the Pulaski water plant is now and then began buying power for, from TVA in 1938. Please. So tell me, that we're, we're not still using stuff from the 1800s, are we? Are, do we are we still maintaining some of the stuff? No, it's go? close. Okay. No, right. but no, we're really, <laughs> we're using a little more modern things now. Okay. No, and we're continually progressing to make sure that reliability, because the reliability standards that people expect now are much gotcha. different and much stricter than they were even five years ago. I got you. Now, Eddie, before we get out of here, I want to talk about this this room that's behind us here. You were describing some of the safety features here as well in the event that uh, that inclement weather, a tornado, or what. Let the folks know about what we got going on here behind us. Well, it's it was a really interesting thing. When we remodeled this building in 2007, 2006, we decided to add on uh, this structure, which is for dispatch and operations. The building is built to be tornado proof. It's an F5 tornado proof or resistant building. There's generation for the building. There's battery backup for the building. Uh, it's 2.8 Richter earthquake proof. So this is where all of our operations stem from. This is where we dispatch. This is where we're taking calls from customers uh, during the day or while it's manned. If we have any major outage, we do have that manned. People come in here and start answering I got you. phones. So. I got you. It's a, I mean, I've, I've been in this business for 15, 20 years, and I've never seen anything quite as incredible as this building. I mean, this is, this is state-of-the-art stuff. Folks, the message we're trying to, to uh, let you know about PES here is that these guys are, take this very serious. They're committed to customer service. They get out. They get to training. They want their, their, their folks to be safe out there. Um, but they also want to provide a service for you. I mean, you guys are what make this whole thing click for PES. I want to thank Michelle, and I want to thank Eddie. For joining me today. Um, I hope you found some of the stuff that we we're talking about interesting. I know I learned a lot today. And Eddie and Michelle, I want to thank you guys, and I want you out there to keep watching Pulaski TV today.